Do you like the ocean? Don't drink potions. Live a life. That's right. Shark time. Shark time. Yeah. Today on Shark Time, we'll go deeper into our story of St. Valentine and the story of love. We sure will. Last week, we put a story with a small sampling of St. Valentine's story. But this week, we'll give you the full thing. That's right. <clears throat> it's a very epic story, so get ready for the epic tale of St. Valentine. With it being Valentine's Day and all, we hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Now, St. Valentine was a lonely shark. Hello, I'm St. Valentine. I am a lonely shark. And he saw the world wasn't quite happy. Just look at this. Oh no, a snake is choking a frog. That's not very kind. There was all what? sorts of sadness in the world. What can we do about this? So he went on a quest to try and find out what can he do to bring about a better world. So St. Valentine went to the all-knowing fox of wisdom. All-knowing fox of wisdom, what can I do to stop all the sadness? You must find the jewel of love. It looks like a heart. So with that, St. Valentine set off on his journey. St. Valentine encountered many perils on his journey. Ah! But finally, he reached the Slide of Love. This must be it. A Slide of Love. We At the bottom of the slide, St. Valentine found the Guardians of the Jewels of Love. Oh, Guardians, how can I get that big red jewel? You can't get that big red jewel. That's our job, to guard it. But I must have it. It is needed by the Fox of Wisdom. The Fox of Wisdom? Then you may have it. But only if you volunteer to fall in love. Fall in love? What's that? You'll know once you fall in love. Okay. So St. Valentine agreed. St. Valentine took the jewel up the slide of love. He brought it past the many perils. And he brought the jewel to the Fox of Wisdom. Blah. There you go. Suddenly, the jewel did something amazing. <clears throat> huh? What's that? Asked St. Valentine. That is Cupid. He will make you fall in love. And with that, Cupid flew off. Well, Cupid, what do you do? Cupid poked St. Valentine with his arrow of love. Bing! Ow! Huh? And suddenly, a beautiful unicorn showed up. Ah. Huh. I love you! And with that, love existed in the world. St. Valentine saw as he went by his friends, they were no longer fighting. What's up, friends? They were friends again! And with that, our story is at an end. That's right. So remember the story of St. Valentine, 
and fall in love this Valentine's Day, if you can. And remember, if you can't, you have next year to try. Yep.